Hi everyone, I don't know page today. I made this one a few days ago and posted it on Facebook. And I was asked to make a video how I've done this one. And I'm going to do something similar. Uh, basically, it's magazine uh, pages in the back, some gesso, and then some color. And this is from a paper napkin. So, as I said, I'm going to do something similar uh, to this. I've taken pieces uh, from, I don't know if even to call it a magazine or... Uh, it was something I picked up, I think it was in a museum in Vienna, uh, Austria, in one of my uh, uh, vacations. So, uh, what I've taken out is pages with only black and white and with details that I thought would be interesting uh, picking in the back. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter what's going on. And because as, as you have seen it's just going in the back and when I'm talking about details that are interesting like a, a very large lettering can uh, work nicely in the back and again it really doesn't matter what it, it says this is going to be quite uh, striking in the back because all of this detail <coughs> sorry maybe i will try to incorporate it in this page so we'll see and here is another page and as i said there were quite a lot of details and there are also numbers so i figured it would be nice to uh, construct a background from this so moving this aside and I've picked another page with mostly uh, darker grays and just started to tear strips and it's not planned, it's just just taking pieces and playing with them in the background so let's see I'll tear in a, some more just so we will have something to work with and with numbers with text with some drawings okay so we've got this let's hope this is enough uh, pieces. I also have some leftovers from that page so it's all here and let's start so just going with one piece and taking some glue stick and I like the torn edges I'm not trying to make anything uh, symmetrical or anything and I've got a straight edge here I'm just ripping it off if you like straight edges go for it I just didn't want a straight edge and placing this strip and now I'm going for a strip that is not from the same page and that is lighter and have a lot of details let's put just a little bit more of the glue and again taking the straight edge and also overlapping although you don't have to do whatever feels right to you i'm not looking uh, for uh, the i don't mind the brown paper in the back i just don't want it in between the pieces so <clears throat> that's why I'm overlapping between so where do I have another here we go so I'm alternating between uh, the darker grays and the lighter ones and the details 
it gives more interest in the back. Like so. Now I'm moving to another piece and I just want to show you something. Like because it's from basically two uh, pages, what I did try to do is that the details won't uh, be continuous. That means that if I have a detail from a building here, I don't want it to continue here and be the rep the next uh, strip from the page. I I was looking to change and even a uh, if I have here something I don't want it to continue here I want it to be more interesting so that's the only thing in building this background but of course you can go however you want and again taking out the straight pieces and all this doesn't even have to be in the same length you can uh, play with it let's see this is a little bit too wide and I don't like it <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see why now it's starting to To tear diagonally I don't know but here we go just taking a piece here yeah let's see looking for interesting pieces to go on my page with details I, I don't know if this was as smart to put in because I have all this blank space but never mind there is going to be a lot of other details on top so it really not it doesn't really uh, matter so much okay yeah almost done and I forgot to tear the straight edge here here we go let's see this is interesting but again too wide maybe I can yeah this is it and of course it doesn't have to be stripes you can build the background with all kinds of tearing uh, pieces from a magazine and you can play with it there is no rules to this uh, kind of thing like i feel i need something more here so maybe i'll just add a piece I like it yeah okay so finished with this now for the focal point and in this page I used a paper napkin this is from the paper napkin the botanical is from the same paper napkin I just took these two 
and then took another uh, flower from another part of the paper napkin and made this three and the botanical is again from this part of the napkin so I'm not going to repeat the same thing again I've taken another image from a paper napkin and, and this is going to be the focal image I just glued it to some uh, more sturdy paper so I can fussy cut it that's all I've done but before we are going for the focal image first of all I'm going to take some gesso and quite randomly I'm going to add it to this page uh, you can use a, a brush you can use a palette knife whatever you like just some details don't know if it's too it's not to disguise it's just adding something to the background maybe it helps to bring everything along I don't know but that's what I've done I've just put a little bit of gesso in several places like this and oh, my neighbor is banging something again the walls drilling whatever in it, it's like it never stops I don't know what he's got to do in his house that that's taking so long never mind okay so we've got the gesso and I'm just smearing where I have clumps of it just so <laughs> it will uh, dry fast and then we can continue maybe a little bit here yeah just spending whatever I have on my brush okay so this is it I'm going to let it dry and then we'll continue I'll be back I'm back so this is dry and I'm going to start putting down the elements I want on my page I'm going to first uh, glue this here and I'm just again using just a glue stick it's just part of a paper napkin I could also use a white glue right now I just want the glue stick I don't want to deal with wet stuff so that's how I'm going about it and for this I'm going to use my silicone glue just because this is what I'm used to using but you can use whatever glue you like this is just a strong glue and it dries fast so I like it okay I've got two pieces here of the stem which is gonna be a little bit difficult but never mind okay placing this here okay and I've got some leaves I remembered I had and I'm thinking of attaching them also to the page maybe oops it's dried leaves that I've bought a long time ago and remembered I had them so I'm going to just glue this also to my page I need to be very gentle about it they already are coming apart 
already have a little piece that I broke from this leaf. Maybe I'll try later to attach this <laughs> piece that broke. Right now, I'll just put this on so we can continue to the next phase. Okay, I think I broke another corner. Okay, maybe I need to put some pressure right uh, on top of it until everything is in place and glued down. Let's see if I can attach the little piece that broke just with the glue stick. better than nothing <laughs> okay so I'm going to look uh, to put some uh, pressure on everything or maybe no I think I can work around it okay next phase I want to add some uh, color to my page and you can go uh, all kinds of different ways I've uh, used here in the background I use gelatos and you can use gelatos whatever you are using it needs to be a little bit translucent because you don't want to um, you want to add color you don't want to cover what you have in the back that's why I use the gelatos you can also use acrylics but then you have to uh, dilute it with water uh, and work uh, gently with it you can use watercolors uh, again very gently not too much water on all this whatever works for you and so let's see i'm going to start with this and this is pistachio and i'm just going to put it in several places like this And let's put some here. This is quite random. Wherever you want the colors to go. And I've got some yellowish here. So I'm going to add some of this. Is, let's see. It's so small. Jeez. But butterscotch, okay. Now I'm just playing uh, the colors and then I will activate them and smear them with something dump. That's how the gelatos work. And I want just another color. Let's go with orange. It just goes with the whole theme here. Mm, let's put some here and here. It probably is easier to do before uh, putting uh, all the pieces on top, but I just don't really, haven't felt that it's so uh, 
necessary so I just decided to go this way but if you want to make your life easier just put the colors first and then the elements on your page okay so I've got this now some water here and some, a paintbrush let's see okay paintbrush and now just starting to activate it and smear not too much a uh, water and I'm also letting them mix and mostly the yellow orange and a little bit of red that I have put on I don't have a problem moving in between the uh, green that I've used I'm leaving uh, for last because I don't want to create mud between the colors it can uh, like here it's, it touches the green but I don't want it too much or I will have mud <coughs> sorry okay So like here I've put uh, too much gelatos and it almost covers the details so I'm adding more water to so I can spread it and it won't cover the details I have from the magazine. Not doing anything complicated just smearing everything and as you can see I already have now color on my uh, brush so I'm just moving around and adding where I think it's needed and let's clean it a little bit so I can move to the green just in small places blending it into the other colors just not too much so as I said there won't be mud with the green and the other colors now you don't have to cover everything if you want you can uh, leave white spaces really up to you white or gray whatever you have underneath from the magazine okay I'm going to let this dry because then I want to start working on making my elements pop on the page right now because we are using mostly the same colors in the back they blend in so letting this dry so and then we'll continue I'm back so now I want all the elements uh, to pop from the page and I want to go and add some shading now uh, again lots of ways to go about it and um, I can use again the gelatos just putting down like this taking some water activating it and going around and adding some shading this is the black so underneath or just around whatever you like like so another option is the Faber-Castell all-purpose uh, pencil 
the sta uh, stabilum all purpose and again you just it activates with water you just go around or wherever you want it like this and again taking a little bit of water and activating it like so you can do as much or as little as you want more shading more dramatic more popping off the page and more grungy looking that's what i think so all kinds of ways to go about it and you can if you like to work with acrylics then black or very dark green would have gone uh, nicely here with a fine uh, paintbrush all around the elements so it really doesn't matter just what does matter is to use what you have I'm not going all around just adding some shading in some places like so where I think it's needed so I'm going to uh, <laughs> to work on this for quite some time and so you get what I'm doing so I'll be back finished a uh, putting shadow and now I just want to finish this off and just I don't know this is a little bit more dramatic than the other one and more darker and so I want uh, something uh, a little bit different first of all I've got the botanical here that I just want to make a little bit more uh, clear and I'm just going over the letters very gently with the permanent marker and I'm thinking of making um, framing the page with black again with a permanent marker what I'm uh, hoping I think I'm just uh, I'm taking this permanent marker these are all from the cheap store no brand no nothing and just going with the with the tear of the paper like this As I said, a little bit more dramatic than the other one. I'm uh, considering uh, painting all of this black, but maybe it would be just too much. So maybe just finishing, going over the letters. So they will be more noticeable. You don't have to again it's up to you if you want them faded in the background or noticeable no rules just what you like like so well i think i'm leaving it be without a uh, coloring uh, all of this with black i think it's a uh, framed and i like it so this is it Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.